Hello everyone, I hope you are doing fine. So today we are just going to see that how a booking plugin works as like in a WooCommerce so that we how we can make bookable products in our WooCommerce along with our WordPress. So let's have a look at what we are going to create. So if I, uh, first of all, I need to click on a date. When I click on a date, this will display uh, some multiple times on our screen. So if I click on uh, this one, after that we can select multiple uh, times uh, slots like from 10 to uh, 10, 15. Also, uh, we can select this single one. If I again click on that, and after that, if I click on book now, this will be added into our cart page. And if we view our cart page from there, we will give our, we will go for our checkout page. And after giving some important uh, information like our first name, last name, email address. And after that, uh, there have been two payments integrated. One is PayPal and the second one is uh, credit card. Also, we will see that how we can create, uh, how we can add our Stripe payment method and our PayPal pay uh, payment method. After that, we will click on place order and this booking will be done. In going the path of this topic, so first of all, let's uh, let's have a look at how we can create uh, such kind of a product in our website that uh, anyone can book who visit our website. So first of all, we need to go in our dashboard. So I'll type uh, slash after that WP admin. So I will redirect to my dashboard. So we can control all and everything from our dashboard. We need to give our username and password. So if I click on login, I will redirect to my dashboard. Okay. From here, if I go in my products, so all products, uh, the product, which I was already showing, I, uh, let me show that how I have created that uh product so i have given a name that is service name or we can also make it only service so if i just remove this one and after that i need to click on update and this will uh, now this will be a uh, call as only service so if i click on edit uh, let me show that how all the setup is uh, being done from the uh, back end so that will make more understanding first of all we need to give the title of our product after that description that is the long description and after that uh, in our product data always by default you will see that uh, see that there uh, there will be a simple product so we need to change that into our bookable product after uh, doing uh, after changing this or you can say that after switching this uh, button you will see some extra fields of uh, our booking system like in first of all you have the booking tabs and in booking tabs we are uh, just seeing that booking periods enable i have already enabled calendars for block so uh, i have uh, made the booking system for minutes as was the requirement so uh, i have set that 15 minutes so that all the slots will be divided into 15 minutes mean uh, the combination which we are using in our website that is showing the time slots of every 15 minutes. Okay. After that, there is max booking per block mean that how many uh, bookings per block can be done. So I have set that two, and also we can set that one, but uh, as the requirement was, I need to set that uh, two. So after that, there is remaining and minimum duration and all the things you may, uh, you may see that all the settings from here. Okay. First booking starts at, uh, also we can set the date, uh, sorry, time I mean when the booking will start and when we are closing this system so that we don't, uh, get the, uh, more bookings on that time when we are not available. Okay. So, uh, after doing all these, we can set our availability by default. I have left as it is. So, uh, if we, uh, let me show that what we have right now. So if I go on. Uh, my that particular product page, you will see that our Saturday and Sunday, we are not able to book those da dates uh, because of that, uh, because of that, how I create that. So if I come back in my dashboard, so we will see that I have just uh, made all the blocks unavailable. I have just take, uh, check, uh, check this box. And after that, I set a condition that will be range type 
I uh, select for range of days from Monday to Friday. Yes, it is bookable. So you can see that the, uh, I have not added uh, Saturday and Sunday. So therefore, we are not able to see set, uh, Saturday and Sunday on our website. Okay, after that, we have uh, booking cost. So we can set there are two types of cost. One is that the base cost. If I uh, click on this one, we can set up a uh, base cost. Uh, that mean if I click on this one and mean on 16 and I select a multiple dates from here to here, the blog price will only charge it uh, $10. But uh, right now we are using our cost per block. That is 10 mean charge, uh, charge payment for every single block. So 10, 10 and 10, uh, that makes 30. But if we give a base cost that will only, if, uh, that doesn't matter how many blocks we have, booked, but that will show uh, a constant amount of like $10 always here. So I'm not uh, going to use that, but, uh, as it is, it is going fine. So after that, I think we have uh, covered all the things like, uh, the main basic thing is important thing is booking so we can also set that the fixed block or we can uh, give them the uh, range of uh, slots so that they can book if i click on fixed block they will not able to select these multiple uh, blocks from here so i have uh, allow them so that they can uh, book more uh, they can choose more slots and they can book uh, more uh, our slots on uh, from our website Okay, so after doing all these, uh, after uh, we have just a simple product image over here, and we can also put our uh, product gallery image like we do for our WooCommerce sites. And uh, right now, the main important thing that uh, that was the plugin. So the plugin which we are using for that, there are a lot of plugins in our uh, in our different marketplace. Uh, for the bookings, but I think the best one is booking and appointment for WooCommerce premium. And this is doing a great job. So we have, we get all the options which we need there in our website. Okay. So, uh, let's have a look that how we have, uh, we have linked our payment methods. If you don't know how to, uh, link payment methods with our WooCommerce website is if I go into WooCommerce and then I click on settings and after going on settings, there is a tab for payments. And if I click on payments, we will see that how many payment methods, uh, pay, uh, which payment method we can use. There will be by default multiple uh, payment methods which are already available like uh, direct bank transfer, check pay, payments and cash on delivery. But right now we are using Stripe and the second one is PayPal checkout. So if you don't want to show PayPal checkout in our website, just click on uh, this one and this will be uh, checkout. After that, we need to click on save changes. Also, uh, ju you just need to install the Stripe uh, for WooCommerce plugin in our website. If you want to uh, set Stripe payment method in our website, after that, you just need to click on manage and you need to give the, uh, your API keys from there. Okay. So, uh, the other thing that how, uh, the other thing is that when someone book our service, how we will get notified that whether we have the, uh, someone have purchased our, uh, some service and how the, our, uh, how our customer will get notified booking is confirmed or not. So right now I have just enabled our cash on delivery, uh, service there so that I can check from our incognito mode that it is uh, working fine or not that we will receive our emails or, uh, not. So I will click on save changes. And after doing that, uh, I'll just click this page and open in a incognito mode. I was already signed in, in, uh, in website already logged in, in website. So if I, I, I don't make a booking because i'm already admin from uh, from there so right now we are in uh, incognito mode and we are not uh, no longer logged in, in our website so if i click on 16 and i want to book uh, 16 30 date and i click on book now button and after that this will be added in our cart page and if i click on view cart and proceed to checkout and after that we will check that whether we receive email from the uh, from our website or not this is uh, a really amazing uh, system that we immediately receive an email as well as our website also shows that we, uh, we have received a booking uh, or we have received our order so uh, let me just put my some uh, content which is important which is which we need to give here that is very important uh, without them we can't 
make our booking. So after that, we uh, I have selected cash on delivery uh, because I don't want to pay right now. That will take uh, too much time. So I, I click on place order and this will be done. And this will show a uh, thank you page and with order has been received and all the details about our order, which we have uh, right now placed. So you, we can see that there is order number, date and total amount and payment method and all which we uh, have booked on that uh, on that website. So let's check that whether we receive the email or not. So for checking that I just need to open another browser. So I need to go in my Gmail account so that I can check whether I receive a email of the confirmation of my booking or not. So if I go on Gmail, so let's see whether we receive the email from our website or not so right now we are uh, going on in our as a customer account okay so the email which i uh, give there so if i click we uh, we have received a uh, receive a email so if i click on welcome uh, we have received already an email that thank you for your order and hi rk that is the my uh, email and just to let you know, you have received, uh, we have received your order and it's now being processed. Um, pay with cash upon, uh, upon delivery. That is the payment method which uh, we choose when we was placing the order and all the details and everything we have there. And also there is uh, the link of our website as well. Okay, so uh, right now, if I go in our dashboard of my um, website, so uh, see that where we receive that order. So if I refresh this one, and we will see that there is a tab of booking as well so uh, if in in if if we go on woocommerce there is also a, a tab that is orders there is option but also we can check from booking so if uh, from woocommerce we are uh, just we can see that in front of orders we can see there is written one so that's mean we have one order so if i click on this one and here uh, we can see that the payment is right now for uh, the right now payment is processing. So if I click on this RK and developers, that was the email from where I just uh, tried to book this service. So from the status, uh, as we can see that if we are get paid from this status, I will click on this processing button and I will uh, turn that into completed. And after that, I will update this one. So our customer will also receive uh, again a email that uh, the offer the booking is confirmed okay so again if i go on our gmail account that uh, that was for for a customer that we are using for so if i uh, refresh here okay so finally we have received email that you're uh, welcome for shopping with us and here we can see that we have finished processing your order that means your order is just uh, marked as completed so also on the top if we see that uh, there is that city order is now completing here so also we can uh, just cancel the order or refund or on hold or just processing so if also if we click on cancel and if i click on update so again they will send a email to that particular to the customer email uh, so that's all that uh, how we can handle and manage all the booking system of this website so also if we uh, need to edit anything on our pages so all the website is created uh, with elementor so elementor is a very powerful page builder so uh, like i uh, want to change this uh, text so what i'll do i'll just go into uh, edit with elementor and i'll click on this section and uh, we will see there are sidebar from there we can easily change that so let's have a look that how we can do that as well so elementary is successfully opened if i want to change this sentence so if i hover there you will uh, see there a pencil button if i click on this and we will see that under title we can easily change from here and write what we want uh, right here also if i want to change this one i just need to uh, hover here and after that click on this pencil button and we can change this from here so that's very easy anything which we need to change so if i want to change my address so if i click on here and where, uh, there we will see that we have address if i click there we can change easily address from here so that that's very easy also we can place our social media uh, social media links so if I click on this one, after that, I click on Facebook and there we need to place uh, the icon, uh, sorry, the link 
uh, that redirect to uh, our Facebook page. Okay, so uh, when someone book this page, also uh, email will be sent to the admin of this website. Uh, so uh, let's make clear that uh, which email is going there. So right now the admin email is going there. So also we can change it from here right now. So also you you may give any email here so that this when someone fill this form the uh, where the email will be shoot out. So that's easy and I think everything about this uh, system. So uh, if you need any uh, kind of help or uh, if you don't anything about our if you don't understand anything about our website, just leave a message. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope everything is clear now.